make this sound great, then Marshall Booty Camp yeah, my God. Awesome. I gotta admit, if ever again, I tell Can you. Can we just start the video? Well, only, only that, you know, everybody can bang on as much as they like about, you know, the audience can't hear the difference between an expensive guitar and a cheap guitar, and it makes no difference, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I, you know what? I'm not, I don't deny any of that, but I tell you what happens when you feel it, when you go, oh my God, there's something cool about this instrument, the sound, yeah. things, you play better, and that's what the audience hear. See, what so, you've always needed is, is a nice, expensive Marshall amplifier, a nice, expensive Fender Strat. You, know, just, you just need something that inspires you. you yeah. know, if what you're, you know as well as I do, because we do a zillion of these videos. You know, if it's not inspiring you, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. then the video is a job. Yes. You know, and it's like, right, I've got to do my best to try and get some sounds out of this, but it's a job. And then when the, video, when the gear inspires you, it ceases to be a job and you just like, it's just, just a, jamming with the just going yeah. for it. And it's like, there could be a camera in the room or not a camera in the room, but that's, that's only great. Well, there you go. On that note, I'm Rob Chapman, yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> end, <This> of, is... <laughs> <laughs> end of, beginning of, whatever. I think we should begin. Astoria amplifiers from Marshall Amplification. Semi new, mm. kind of came out last year, but you well, never tried us. them before. Um, I was lucky enough to, to get to, to go up to Marshall HQ last year and sit with um, Chris, uh, who uh, has been at uh, Chris George, who's been at Marshall for a long time now, and and felt that Marshall kind of to sort of be pushed in a direction that was like. You know, yes, you've got some cool heritage in your sort of JTM 45s and blues breakers and JCM 800s and all that kind of we'll stuff. Push the envelope. Well, and yes, you know, you've done the cheap thing, good, you've got MG, codes just coming, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I think he wanted to just go, look, can we try and be a bit kind of, hates the word, boutique? You know, that <laughs> kind of, can we try and do something that's going to appeal to that kind of guitar? Yeah. Player? So Marshall have kind of tried, you know, very much under kind of Chris's guidance and the, the designers at Marshall have kind of tried to go, look, what we don't want to lose all that kind of Marshall juicy heritage stuff completely, yeah. but we do need to kind of move it into new territory to compete in that kind of area because there are some great boutique amplifier brands that are coming For out, sure, smacking the market around. absolutely. You know, and, and there's 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 guys that you know that you'll notice from just the sort of is it called livery? Is that what they do when it's sort of the, the look? I want to say livery? yes because I like the I word, I think it's the right word. You'll kind of notice that this is. Totally unmartial. About the only thing Marshall on here is the, in fact, that logo is more. That's a vintage Marshall logo. Very too. early, oldie woldy, like you know, before the scripted logo. Um, but it, it's kind of got that, I don't know, a bit like those sort of Jackson Amp Works or who else make amps that are kind of you know very different sort of vibe. Tonally speaking, so there are three amp. Right, take it all back. No, no, these, no, 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 no. these are all hand wired, all made in the UK. Um, it's turrets on a PCB though, isn't it? So it's quick. Well, it's and easy. turret board as opposed to point to point. It's yeah. not quick. But all the tonal bits sure are quick. hand wired. Yeah, but it's consistent, um, and it is. It, it's it's kind of um, 
go and look on the internet if you want to debate the difference between point to point and turret. It's, it's essentially about this much wire between each component is the difference between sort of point to point and It's still hand so wired. Still it has to be yeah. done by hand. Um, but it is easier to, to it is easier to be consistent on a turret board design, whereas I think true point to point stuff can be, you know, you can see five different amps that should be the same, but yeah. rarely are. Um, there's very little point to point stuff in the market anymore anyway. So <laughs> sort of Celestian Creamback loaded, they're all 30 watts, they're all KT66 power sections. And I was saying to you, I, I don't know another Marshall amp that's KT66 and then I thought, potentially yeah, I think really it's the vintage ones. modern. I'm not sure, I think it might be really early ones. But I look, you guys can comment below. So there are three amps in the range, we have two of them here intentionally because the, the third one isn't really my bag or Rob's bag so we thought we wouldn't demo that. Really? One. What is it? So the first one is, is the green one. Um, and I'll put a link to all these below, but essentially the green one is kind of, it's a single channel, your original kind of Marshall. So not really right, a right. built-in gain sound unless you tonk the thing up. Yeah, yeah. Um, some classic tones, don't get me wrong, you know, it's, it's not a bad sounding amplifier at all. It's, it's more of a, it's a, it's like a pro player's amp, you've got to work it. You've yes. got to work it, baby, to get the sounds out of it. The two that I've chosen are a little bit more forgiving. Um, Rob's is without doubt um, your most classic, kind of if you think about what does a, a relatively modern, like a post-1980 yeah. Marshall Well, it harks like. to the JCM 800, doesn't it, really? Yeah, it's the high gain. So it's it's one channel with a boost. You'll see Rob when he stomps his foot like that, that's the boost kicking in. No reverb, um, simple EQ. You know, well, I've got work. reverb in the loop. Yes, absolutely. Uh, power reduction, there's power reduction on all these amplifiers as well, so they work reasonably well at low volume as well as high volume. They still kind of feel like they wanna, you know, don't buy one of these if you live in a flat and no. <laughs> can only ever use it on like 0.01 of a watt mode, buy something else. But, you know, for, for sort of, sm the, the power reduction is kind of like small gig versus big gig, you know, this, yeah. will, this will do it. Shall I give them some quick tones Absolutely. without the reverb pedal? So here's just without reverb. <laughs> I think you can because it's I a standard. I believe it's, uh, oh no, wait a minute, that's the low. Uh, or is it the front two that, hang on, you're right, it's the front two that are coiled. Yes. Up, so. Tweak my beast. Uh, so I've got two ways that I can dial in treble. Uh, there is a there's a treble control, funnily enough. There's also an edge <laughs> control, which is like a sort of presence. So I might just dial in a little bit of. So 
Paris Rebel. The bar the boost. So it's kind of like that's essentially the red one is uh, just imagine kind of like a higher gain Marshall sound. This corner. A lot of blue, isn't there? Yeah, I, I've colour coordinated my outfit. And my what's guitar, your favourite football team? Uh, it's West Ham. Which, what, what which you know, if, if this strip down the middle here was was a kind of claret colour, it wouldn't be a million miles off of being the right colour. This is a little bit too dark. You need to be a bit paler blue. But <laughs> hey, don't hate me for supporting the team that I do. Come on, you irons. <laughs> um, uh, right, let's turn this on. So this is a, a two-channel amplifier. It's the only one of the three that is a two-channel amplifier. Oh, I, that's the other thing, of course. You may have gone, why has Lee got a head and cab and Rob got a combo? Uh, the whole range is available in either this format or this format. So whatever you choose. Same speaker, whether you buy the cabinet or the combo. So we have a clean tone, which is uh, very remin you know, very clean, you know, not martially. have uh, it's a drive channel but it, it's it's you know it's certainly not what you would call heavy that's great completely my cup of tea yeah it really works um, on that guitar I'm using a Nobles ODR1 overdrive so over the clean sound are only about 50 quid, got to get one of these. Uh, or you can run it over the drive channel. The drive channel is foot switchable by the way, I just don't have a foot switch on the floor. So, uh, without the pedal, with the pedal. tones in this really good tones it's got the volume uh, the power reduction same as uh, as the, the red one they all have that it's an interesting power reduction this it's a preset amount so all you do is the master volume you just pull it out yeah and it goes from essentially being one spectrum of volume ranges to just a, a quieter spectrum of mm. volume ranges but it's not attenuating is it yeah I guess it is attenuating I don't know actually quite how Marshall have done it whether it's a built-in attenuator I think not I think it is reducing the power going to the valves right. and therefore okay. reducing how loud the amp can go. So look, to Boutique be honest with you, it's a, it's a, this isn't a kind of video where Rob and I need to spend three hours talking about stuff, which you'll be pleased to know. Um, <laughs> Money-wise, you need to have a couple of thousand pounds you know, to spend on an amplifier if you want to drop any of these. Um, so, you know, it's not the, not the cheapest amp you'll ever buy, but by no means is it the dearest boutique amplifier either. They look um, great, they sound great, they're Marshall Boutique Amplifiers. Yeah, my gut feeling is probably if you live in the UK, these will probably be uh, 
relatively good value compared to other boutique amplifiers and perhaps if you're in the states you might find the, the yeah. flip side of that true so we should just jam out really with another another kind of tune only if we swap guitars that's it or should we just swap the whole thing or no no you're right no, yeah, just swap guitars. that's a great idea rob let's just get some new tones with these new guitars Caster here is another one of the uh, the most amazing postmodern series guitars. This has a journeyman finish on it in sonic blue, so it's kind of like it's uh, designed to fool your eyes to make you think it's old. But as a player, when you play it, it's it's modern. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's and that's stellar. just a Les Paul standard because it played really well. Not just a Les Paul standard. Well, okay, it's, it's a Les Paul. It's standard. the Les Paul. It's standard, a proper yeah. Les Paul standard. Well, I kind of figured, you know, Les Paul standard, nice Marshall. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it's got, it's got so much bass in this. So what should we, uh, you probably want a little bit more. Yeah, because those buckets are quite packed. That's what Rob's going to say. I think it sounds better with single coils. Well, no, I, I think it just has some kind some of... Guitar, some amps do. Some yeah. amps do. You try my guitar. You try my amp. I'll try your amp. Okay. Go across the streams. Yeah.
point. Um, Shall I wrap it up for you now? <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds phenomenally nice. Phenomenally. So yeah. there you go. Look, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different format of Chappers and the Captain video, where it's mostly playing and hopefully not a lot of talking. And but there if, we are. And if one wanted to wrap this strat up, how much would this strat cost? Oh, they're all about two thousand pounds. It's it's funny, isn't it? It's like two thousand pounds. What do you like today? Well, I'm sure it'll just be about two thousand pounds. Two thousand pedals. They probably won't be. Yeah, they're probably not. Right. Not let's go. Let's right. do another one. I've been Rob. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Oh. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. They look um, great. They sound great. They're Marshall Booty Camp. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful.